Do you ever get the feeling that you don't belong in the creative industry, even though everything within you draws you toward the lifestyle of a creative professional? I have a videographer friend who's known for shooting weddings, and he's killing it. And though I really enjoy shooting and editing too, there's a hesitation that wells up inside of me anytime I consider joining the ranks of a full-time videographer. I also have a friend known for her comic book illustrations. It's inspiring how amazing her work is. And even though I've spent years refining my own illustration workflow, the idea of being a full-time illustrator just doesn't quite sit well with me. What is it that prevents me from deciding on one single path? This video is for you if you're looking for something different than the conventional understanding of a career. Maybe you're the adventurous type and have an appetite for a variety of creative disciplines. Maybe you don't specialize in any one craft because you are a sampler. Huh? Hi, I'm Michael Masters. People know me as a graphic designer in the small town of Ovid, Michigan. But that doesn't fully capture my portfolio of talents. It's so tricky to sum up my creative career in just one sentence. For instance, I like to write scripts and produce fun videos. I like to take a sketch and walk it through to an illustration. I like to build things with my hands. I like to encourage and support other creators on their paths. In other words, I'm a video net wood work illustrate designer. Does having a broad skill set cause confusion for me and the people I create for? Is being a specialist the only option we have for success as a creator? Questions like this have been plaguing me ever since I first started desiring the life of a creative professional. I met so many creators that are crushing it in their niche. My favorite ones are the ones who discovered a skill set they were naturally gifted at and became masters of their craft. This has never happened to me. In fact, I actually spent the first few years of my creative career questioning my purpose, or wondering why I wasn't devoted enough to any one discipline to pursue it full time. Did I lack sufficient talent? Was I just too lazy or unfocused to stick to one thing? Was there any hope for me or others like me? I was working in Canton today, and I thought I'd stop by Ikea to pick up a few things for the lab. Come on, I'll show you. So I had a light bulb moment when I was thinking back to one of my many creative pursuits. A few years ago, I became highly interested in an animation career. Hmm. At the start of that path, I took a couple courses to get me familiar with Adobe After Effects. With every training came more skills, and it was a thrilling experience. I was just entering into this exciting new world with infinite potential for growth, limited only by my imagination. The more I learned, the bigger that world became. At this point, I had invested around 200 hours of deliberate practice. Let's imagine my entrance into the field of animation as if I'm entering into a town square. At 200 hours in, I was able to get a pretty good view of this new city. In this case, Animation City. I had developed the core skills and had gotten to know the interface well enough to be able to do some pretty cool stuff, but I was not at a point where I would consider myself an animator. And then I had a revelation. I wanted to be able to animate, but I didn't want to be a specialist in the field. So it was enough to have a basic understanding of the material. In other words, a sample. I could use these samples as an asset to make my videos more engaging. I think this is why I enjoy making YouTube videos so much. It's the perfect avenue for a sampler like me to combine different forms of media in order to share my ideas and stories that will hopefully give you a perspective that you didn't have before you watch this. 
With so many paths to take, you can easily lose your way. If you feel like you're stuck in your specialty and desire more out of your professional life, let me give you permission to expand into new areas of interest, to broaden your work portfolio. If you need help figuring out where to start, I made another video about discovering your one goal. In that video, there's a resource I give you which helps you to look at these four areas. What you're good at, what you love doing, what people need, and what you can be paid for. Check that out by clicking the link in the description. Friends, I hope I helped you envision your creative career as a journey with multiple interesting stops along the way. Please use the comments section to tell me about any valuable insights that you gained. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And remember, a daydreamer questions everything and stops at nothing. See you next time.